What is going on? I'm back with another uh, playlist. So let's not waste anybody's time because these tend to be really long. So I'm going to try to speed this up. Hopefully it's not too long. Let's get into it. First track is Murder, She Wrote by TK. You know, I was low-key kind of a TK hater when he first came out. I don't know why. But recently, I have came to my grips and, yeah, he's pretty nice, man. He can rap. Um, he was snapping on this song. What is that? Turning a nigga sideways, ripping like some homework. Hotter in his bed like a monster. Today you're not a trap star. Today you are a donor. Ugh. I love that. <laughs> That's good stuff right there. So, yeah, you know, hey, man, he's a good rapper. I can't lie. So, shout out to him. Uh, Six Feet by Gunu. Yo, great song, man. This nigga was sliding on this. Another person I was really sleep on. Somebody I did not like when I first heard him. I was like, yo, he just sounds like an offbeat hood, which probably won. But then I continued to listen to him more, and I'm like, yo, this nigga is nice, man. I can show you how to whip it. Ooh, I can show you how to whip it. And, you know, remakes of the chickens. And he was sliding on this, man. He said, uh, he was just going on this song. So, yeah, shout out to Gunu. Um, the DMV, I love their little movement going on. The Motion, come on, everybody knows this song, Drake, let's talk about it, it's top five Drake songs for me, Sanford just put the little icing on the cake, man, with the, oh, I guess that's just the motion, hey, and then Drake comes in behind him, oh, oh I guess that's just the motion, man, he was going on this song, I've been moving state to state with my nigga, like it's 1998, and that's the left side of the state, he was going on this song, so yeah, Drake was in his bag sample they was they was just going crazy don't talk about it something like that because i'm pretty sure everybody's heard the motion kingdom down straight now uh, i'm a wrestling fan i always say that and this is cody rose theme song and i remember hearing it and i was like yo this is amazing bro just the a pen i made a pen i can't change the game can't take my feet off oh, no. This song is hard, bro. One of my favorite theme songs currently in wrestling. I think Cody Rhodes definitely has, I want to say, top five theme song in wrestling right now. Uh, where it's all said and done, shout out to Wi Fi, my first interview ever. So I always got to pay salute to Wi Fi. It's the reason I interview people. So yeah, this is a really good song where it's like a very chill song, but he's exhibiting, exhibiting, <laughs> he's uh, exhibiting that he can rap. So he was showing his skills on the song. And you know, people don't talk about Wi Fi's rapping skills like that. At least I don't see it. So I like that he did this. Pretty good song where he's just, you know, showing his skills. Uh, for Whom the Bell Tolls, man, I love this song. It's one of my favorite J. Cole songs. I would not be opposed to J. Cole putting out an all-singing like album, and I don't even think he's that great of a singer at all. I don't think he thinks he's that great of a singer. But when he does, it's just like that raw emotion. I feel it, bro, that... That nigga was losing his mind on this song, bro. Shout out to J. Cole, man. What I wanna do, what I wanna do. <coughs> oh, man, well, I'm finna lose my voice trying to sing that song. But yeah, that's one of my favorite J. Cole songs. And I really hope he puts out an album where he just like sing it because I feel like it'll be fire. Girls Stand on the Corner. A jazz collective that I found out about listening to that last little sweatshirt album. Yeah, super good project, man. Girl's my favorite. I love this song. Uh, I'll never find one like you. Such a good song. Such a good album. Please listen to this album. It's like one of the best things I've heard in a long time. So I was mad I was sleeping on them, but now I'm up on that whole collective of slums. Bro, they're just so good. So yeah, shout out to uh, Stand on the Corner. Speak. Now, I went in this song in detail in my review of this album i love this song i think it's really powerful i think it's just the way he just let his like vocals just shine throughout this song i don't want to talk about it too long because like i said i did a lot of talking about this song on the album review just so we look at the album review go listen to the song you'll understand why it's so so good uh too many times man been a villain too many too many too many too many times too many times lost in the sauce in man this song is fire i had him on i think last month bro he's so good bro he's a ktt artist and i really think he's fire I, like i think people are asleep on this young man he definitely has star potential like if you want to hear somebody who has star potential just by his music listen to this guy bro he i think he's dropping an album this year it's gonna be bonkers it's gonna be bonkers i can't wait to review i can't wait to listen to it i already know it's gonna be crazy shout out to bro um hooch nobody likes warhol for whatever reason i feel like i'm the only warhol fan in the world but hey 
I'm still a proud Warhol fan, man. He's good, bro. I came on to him late. I found out about him this year. Well, I found out about him a long time ago. I just avoided him, but I started listening to his music this year. I love him, man. They got me a hooch. He was sliding on this song. Um, but I wish they had Stick on Apple Music. Stick Freestyle. That is such a good song. I love that song. So, yeah, I'm waiting to see what he puts out next. Day Shooting by Medhani. I think I said it right. People corrected me because I think I called him Medhane, but I think it's Medani, if I'm not mistaken. Bro, he's super duper good. He's a super duper good rapper. From that whole Slums Collective that I was just talking about with Stan on the Corner. And he's from New York. And man, this beat is so good. The... And he just come through rapping his behind off. African nigga, man. He's so good. So if you just want some good rapping, listen to this album. I just wish the song was longer. I wish the EP was longer. It's like 13 minutes long. All the songs are pretty short, but he's a really, really good rapper. I can't wait till he actually like sits down and make like a, his next full length album because I already know it's going to be crazy. Um, tell me how you feel. Hey, Ugly God in Wintertime. I interviewed Wintertime. We talked about this song because Wintertime had a good verse. But Ugly God lost his mind on this song. It's like he heard Wintertime verse and was like, no, nah, I'm not going to let this nigga outdo me. So, yeah, shout out to Wintertime for pushing him. And shout out to Wintertime for dropping something because we haven't heard from Wintertime in a very long time. I'm a super big Wintertime fan. Low key, I might ask Ugly God to put me in Wintertime for an interview because I really want to interview that young man. So, shout out to Wintertime, man. Love that guy. <laughs> Um, fascinated, fascinated, <laughs> yellow bitches had me fascinated as a young nigga. This song is basically him describing what fascinated him as a young lad growing up in the port of Miami. So, really good song, possibly my favorite song on the album. I know I didn't review it, I had Amp review it, and um, yeah, man, I like this, uh, I like the song a lot. All talk, you probably heard the song already as like a meme on Twitter where it was like, uh, it was two, it was four niggas and it's just me. Bow, not just three. Bow, bow, not just two, not just me. That, that's that song right here. This nigga's fire. If you haven't seen that meme, then I'm not finna explain what it's about. But hey, if you've seen it, you know. And then I added another song called Leg Walk where he freestyled over Walk, Leash, Walk. <clears throat> walk, Leash, Walk, which is one of the most hardest songs that's ever been put out like in the history of music. Such a good song. And he freestyled over it. He did a really good job. So, yeah, I'm a fan of 3 Black. I want to see what you got coming up next. Up Where We Belong. I was getting my hair twisted. And, yeah, the song came on. And I was like, yeah, I'm in a gospel mood. So I was like, hey, man, BBC's Ewan and they're freaking legends. Uh, Lord, put me up where we belong. To the mountain high. You know, I like, I love gospel music. I'm a sucker for gospel music. So, yeah, um, why not put some CC and BB Wine in here, man? Um, Red Sox slash Babylon. Another song that I went in great lengths of talking about in my review so i don't want to talk about it too much here go look at the review or just freaking go listen to songs that's what you that's what you really need to do mike is so good another person that slums collective they keep popping up like this is a month where i just listen to a lot of like niggas in that slums collective super duper good man um 40 ball 40 ball another thing that you might have seen on twitter because he's like a big nigga he made a song uh uh, don't trust a nigga in no black forces. He might rob your AC in some black forces. This is that nigga right here. And uh, yeah, 40 Ball is such a great song, man. What you trying to do for this 40 Ball? Woo! Definitely got to ask a woman that in all seriousness this month. Um, Loki, hey, another Jacksonville artist. Not no, this is the first Jacksonville artist, but a Jacksonville artist from down here. Of course, he's from Jacksonville. But he's super good. His career trajectory, I feel like, is going up right now. He just got on tour with Wiz and DJ Drama, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, he just dropped a song on tour with them. Such a good song. He raps over the SWV Week song. And uh, yeah, he does very good, man. The, I get so weak. And he just slides over this song, bro. Yeah, she keep it low-key. Hey, she know Sadie quiet. She know that I'm fine. I keep it low-key. Hey, I think, what'd he say? Uh, he said, hit like a jackpot, hot like a crap pot. I'm gonna pull up with them shooters, man. That nigga was sliding on this song, man. Hot like a crap pot is definitely my favorite bar in this song. I love that bar. I don't know why. But I like that bar a lot. So, yeah, go check out Sadie Hendrix. If you want to hear some local music that's, like, buzzing right now in my city, hey, go ahead, man. He was supposed to sign the QC, but stuff happened with him and just didn't fall right. But, hey, Sadie Hendrix, I feel like he's finna blow up. Immature Watch Me Do My Thing featuring Kale from Keenan and Kale. Yo, why does nigga slide like this, bro? This nigga Kale was rapping his ass off, bro. <laughs> that nigga was rapping like he, was, he had a deal on the table or something. Like, like, he had to feed his family, bro. That nigga was rapping like the last orange soda was right on, on the show. And it was like, whoever rap better get it first. That nigga was just rapping, bro. Shout out to Kale, man. Um, following the plug. Come on, his Zaman dude. I really have to talk about it. I'm a big Zaman fan. I'm following the plug. I'm following the plug. Another nigga I didn't like at first though, but huge Zaman fan. 
Rapid Eye Movement. Now, this is a song that you probably don't know. Uh, it's a Pharaoh Mont song featuring Black Thought. And I don't know, this Black Thought bar always stuck in my head. He said, I bear arms like button ups without the sleeves. I love that bar so much. That's such a hard bar to me. Um, yeah, so shout out to freaking... Shout out to freaking, uh, freaking, uh, Black Thought, my father, my, my mind just went blank. But yeah, shout out to Black Thought. My thought blacked out. Ooh. Hey, bars right there. But no, shout out to Black Thought, man. He went crazy on this song. Feral Mach went crazy on this song. And you could probably expect what type of song it is if freaking Black Thought and Feral Mach on the same song. It's one of them songs where them niggas just rapping great. So yeah, uh, a song that I visited that I haven't heard in a long time. I thought I'd put it on here. Uh, Sans, I don't know how to say this nigga name. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna finish how to butcher it. But he's cool with my homeboy Spencer, who is a visual artist. He probably seen him. He did work for like um, Ian Connor. He did work for a lot of fate, a lot of fans, people, and whatnot. And he's gonna do something really crazy this year with an artist that I reviewed on my channel, or I kind of reviewed it. I don't know. I'm not gonna spoil it because I don't want. I don't know how much is out there yet. But He's putting out something with an artist that a lot of you guys like on my channel. So when that drops, then you'll be like, oh, that's weird. What's talking about? Yeah, you'll see. But yeah, shout out to uh, Santan, whatever you say his name. It's like experimental rap, I would call it. He's singing on it a little bit, but he's still rapping. I like this guy a lot, man. I really want to see what his career goes next. He's really, really interesting. He's like plugged in. I think he's from New York, too. I think he's cool with some of them slums, nigga. So, yeah, he's really interesting, man. So, go check that guy out. Um, Sociopath featuring Cash Doll, Pusha T. My bitch D in up the spot. What do you say, man? I think Pusha T sounds like a psycho, bro. Love this guy, man. I don't really have to cover this song. You guys know freaking Pusha T. Um, All Star Laurel. She was actually on my best albums of last year list love her she's my favorite pop singer if you want some good pop music like really really good pop music if that's what you're looking for if you're looking for something different you're tired of listening to whatever genre you listen to you want some good pop or you you love pop and you just want some more pop artists listen to laurel is that bro she is so good her voice so good the music so good and she writes engineers and per, and uh produce all her stuff all her stuff is produced written and engineered by her she's amazing bro i love her shout out to laurel um weekend in new england barry manilow i was listening i was watching friends and this song played i was like oh that's barry manilow gotta put him on the list that's exactly what happened i don't have to go any further that's exactly what happened uh mission failed now this thing got shot up and as he got shot up, uh, he made a song because he survived it. And he made it about how the niggas failed. And he hopes they got their bread bike. <laughs> he said, oh, you thought I was dead, right? I ain't die. Hope you got your bread bike. <laughs> That's basically all you need to know about this song right here, man. Amazing. And the video is very ignorant. He's literally in the hospital with fake nurses twerking on him. It is amazing. Just go look at that video. <laughs> starve with me uh shout out to this this uh, version of the song doesn't have it but it just has it on soundcloud and it has one of my favorite tags it says uh hood rich king yeah think about signing that guy <laughs> i don't know why i love that tag the tag is hilarious to me but yeah this guy really raps really well he's uh he was rapping like man that nigga's fire he had a whole rhyme scheme where he rhymed stuff for like alt disney like he was like walt disney starve with me called me like and he did it for like a very long time and i was like yo that's impressive. That's not an easy rhyme scheme, in my opinion. So, shout out to Lil CJ Casino. Uh, Edge of 17, Stevie Nicks. Appreciate sure everybody knows this song. Um, yeah, this is one of the songs that, like, you've heard on a movie, in the radio, whatever. Freaking 21, not 21, but uh, Forever 21. You heard it somewhere. Good song. Um, Panorama and When I Dream Rolling. This is another KTT artist that I've heard before. But these two songs, like, I was like, yo, this thing is kind of fire. I don't know what he sounds like. Please listen to this and tell me what he sounds like. Because I was thinking Kid Cudi, Man in the Moon era. But I sent it to Amp and he was like, nah. And I was like, I don't know what it is. But he was like, it do sound familiar. I don't know really what he sounds like. But he's super good, man. Shout out to Rolling. So, yeah, I kept you guys for too long already. Hope you